Hello everybody, I hope everyone's well. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me tonight. We'll see how we go. I'm still not feeling great, but i um, been working on a couple of projects and um, finishing off one that I started last week. <clears throat> so I was inspired by a card that flashed onto my screen when I was on Pinterest, scrolling as you do. And it was by Kylie, Kylie Batucci, and she had used the retired, um, what was it called, Art Gallery? The one with the gold, the gold veins through it. So, I thought I would try and recreate that design style with some current products. So, this is... My little, I can't even remember what it's called. Let's grab this out that I had for my. This is what I had for my launch. Oh, I still haven't got the name of it. What's the name of it? Pretty Prince paper. So you get it in. I think I've got another one of them. And I have tried this on every colour that's in here. So just to see, I haven't. I have actually created a green with the evening evergreen but I used a different dye for that so you get the blackberry bliss you get the evening evergreen calypso coral and bermuda bay and then the pretty prints which is similar to the navy blue and oh, I think it's got grey or it has got grey granite in it so <clears throat> I was trying to emulate the, or whatever, however you put that, the <clears throat> gold gold veins in this, in the card that I'm just trying to decide which way up I want them. I think I want it that way up. So I've taken this little, I've done a few different ones and I'll show you when I'm done. I just wanted, um, how can I explain what I'll explain? I just wanted a little thin, a thin um, line of glue, a line of um, gold fleck, similar to the paper. And when I did it with my, you can do it with your multi-purpose, but I found it very difficult to get a, a thin line. So I have used that for one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but then I've used a few different things and I came across the... I was just looking for something that had a sort of a stem that was fairly thin. So I actually just did one before this afternoon to see what it would look like in with using this little... Now where's my card so I can kind of copy where I had them. Which it turned out okay. So I will do this for you. So I'm going to be putting the, the flakes on here. You can't see really where you're going because it's a because we're using Versamark of course that one there and I'll go through what I did to create the other cards once I've done this one I'll go just there the other cards I didn't do any on this side but let's just do a bit on this side. How do I want that? So you've probably got us looking through the mini catalogue. And um, now we just need our... Let me concentrate. Don't get the wrong <laughs> embossing powder. I've got white there, so I don't want to use that. Instead it is. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I was looking through the mini catalogue to see if there was any other been looking and looking to see what I could use to do this technique um, because I didn't really want to I was going to have another go at you doing the glue really thin but because you've got to let it almost dry it's not very practical to do for a live because I'd have to sort of do one and um, then let that nearly dry and I wasn't sure what time I was going to come live to be live tonight so this is why I thought, well, if I do the embossing, you can see the whole process. And you'll see the back I have got. I didn't 
purposely am not showing you how I did that because I'm using the adhesive sheets that we had previously, not the new ones. And I'm not, I haven't got the new ones yet because I'm still working on the others. I stocked up when we, when we didn't carry them anymore. Now that we do, I haven't got the new ones. So I've got that ready and you'll see why very shortly. I'm going to put the lid on that properly. I'm going to grab my, you've got to be very quick with the, with this technique when you're using the heat and stick powder because I think I didn't have much luck in the summertime with it. It probably dried too quick. But in the winter, like now, it should be okay. I'm just going to sit that because this is really, it's a really good tub, but it's really hard to get out. To get to the lid off, I sort of, sort of seem to fumble a bit with it. So, just put those at the row too. <clears throat> just making sure you can see me. I didn't check that. I haven't even said hello to people yet. Let me see. Can you now? You just have to close your ears for a minute. just want that just dry I don't want to I don't want to mess around trying to make sure it's dry I'm pretty sure it is because I can see where it's shiny I can actually see this a bit better than I maybe because I've got my little light on over yonder bit helpful and the first one I did with this I didn't I did this after I die cut and I found all the gold flakes stuck to the pieces of my die cut, the intricate pieces. So I decided this was the best, better way to do it. And it mightn't look like much just yet, but wait till we're finished. Now, I think I've got it all. Oops. I'm going to have gold flakes all through my room. Now I can close that up properly. I have not dragged out my gold flakes in quite some time. Now I wasn't going to bring the die cutting machine over, but I think I will. So you can see, I don't want that sliding around on there. Um, now, my die. What have I done with that? use this die here. The name I got is Artistic Dies. Okay, so I want the I I had my other one. I wanted the flower up the I wanted the flower up the top and the other one sort of sort of like that but I think I had the two bits of gold up the top and the other one. Not that it matters but just and I've just got it wide enough. Now, I'll grab my machine. this you can see that okay just want to place this so that it's pleasing to the eye like that I've just got my paper wide enough haven't I Make sure that's cut. It's 
first one I did, for some reason I had to work at it to get it cut. It's a good idea to flip your dies over once you've run it through once or twice to with it the other way and then if you go that way it seems to um, make a difference. We can put that away now, we don't need that anymore. Paperback. Now, this should just brush out very easily. They did for me earlier, so hopefully they will now. Let's create this little die brush for getting those little bits out. So I don't need them anymore. Bitsy ones that don't want to come out. They will actually, I think most of them will actually pull out once I take the adhesive off. So see, there we go. I think we've got them all out now. That wasn't hard, was it? Some little, little ones. But I do recommend that flipping it over and doing it, yeah, doing it both ways just ensures. So sometimes with your more intricate ones sometimes they're a bit stubborn and you can see by that I've hardly got any bits left in there so not that fiddly at all come on come out you little fella I think I've got one there just a couple See in this light. Oh, come on. I could do that later, but if I do it now, it's done, isn't it? That's pretty good. One there. And one there. Always a couple of pesky little ones, isn't there? Oh, goodness. There we go. So I can put him back. So he doesn't get lost. Now, the other elements of my card are here. I'm just going to fold my card base over. Card base is 14.85 by 21 centimetres. And I could score at ten and a half but I usually don't. I usually just do this and it ensures that you get <clears throat> a nice even card base. Okay now because I've got adhesive on here I can just pull that off. You wouldn't have to put it all over the whole card, but it saves you another step if you do. And I found it, oops, this one out. Well, well that's not gonna stick. I found it helpful for me to use, and I'll show you what this paper is in a minute. Girls that came to my open day would know, but they've probably forgotten. It's this um, brush stroke, brush stroke, I did not speak, paper. So you get in the soft succulent, the blushing bride and the navy. 
and it's not that thin. All the girls that came had a bit of a feel. It's about as thick as a decent piece of DSP. So it's not that flimsy. Not like that cotton paper we had. I don't know what the heck to do with that. It was so thin I couldn't do anything with it. Okay, now, I wonder where are we? What are we doing? This, we've got to put this back in here. This is just so easy, just ingenious. Oh, come on. If you can get the paper off, oh, there's a, there's a little bit of a, hasn't been this hard to get off all along. Maybe I can, just got to get one, there we go. Don't want to rush and break your beautiful die cut. Just um, making sure, yeah, I've got everyone, everything out of there now. Now, I think that was the top, so that will help me. This is where, oops, when I had um, done this bit first and then went to do the gold, all the gold flakes went in underneath my die cut and I had to actually add extra adhesive. So, now which way up do we want that? What a quick, simple, easy card. I did find it easier. The other cards I've um, created, I'll show you them in a tick. did find it easier to have the piece on the back that I stuck it to, have it a bit smaller and, and do this, which um, just made it easier working with the sticky bits and for me to put it on. I'm not very good at putting things on on straight when I've got sticky all over the place. So that's just, but you know, you do you, whatever works for you. My um, piece might be a tad long, but we'll go with that. Then, here's my other bits. I've already, I did already do that, but I'll do another one just to show you because we've got these, these, um, I didn't show you that one either, that, that little stamp that I used. Um, and I think I got sidetracked and I didn't continue my conversation about when I was looking through the mini, was what I meant to say. Um, I just, I saw the, um, it's the one Sam... Sam Hammond's Million Dollar Stamp. It um, has got like swirls. So if you've got, we have had swirly stamps in the past, but we don't have anything at the moment like that. So if you've got something like that, that would work equally well too. So I'll put that over there. And this greeting here, where is it? I've taken from the Go To Greetings. I'm just going to emboss the happy birthday on there. And a little tip for anyone, I don't know why they make our, they make the edges of our stamps swirly. It drives me insane. But they're the design people, so we've just got to go with it. Um, so what I found when I was doing these earlier, just make sure that you're lining up the writing in the center of your piece. So we'll see how we go. I did them. Most of them I did fine. A couple of them were a little bit little bit on the crooked side. And I do have one I prepared earlier, so if we mess up, we just go with that. But I just wanted to show those people that haven't stamped before um, the process. So as I said, trying to line up, and it was hard for me to see whether that was straight or not. And the, the light was glaring at me, so I've got my head in the road, I'm sorry. I don't know that that's that straight. 
Now we want our white. <clears throat> like you've got them labelled, isn't it? Yeah, that's not very straight. I think we'll use the one that I pre... And I've... Um, see that? I've pressed just too hard. And I've burnt it. So you just want to press gently. And then I've got all little bits. And I did use my buddy too, didn't I? My poor old buddies are getting a bit thin on it. Need a bit of pumping up. Did I throw that down the other way? I did. Yeah, I've messed that one up good and proper. Just as well I had one pre-done. in here somewhere I think I hope where did you go maybe it fell out before did it oh there it is I knew it was here somewhere like my um, flowers a bit low down I, I should have put it higher up so you know what I'm going to put my sentiment up the top this time not going to this is the only change I made to Kylie's card and if I can't show you it because it's not my card <laughs> if you want to look on Pinterest and look up um, what's it called art gallery I think it's called you'll find you should find now yeah, I've got all these little short bits these were bits left over from um, when I from some kits that people didn't take up. Now that bit's a bit short. So I just want to use all these little bits up. So I think what did I do before? I did a couple around there, around my first finger. Because this is only a little sentiment strip, you don't need much. And then you have something like that. Yeah, let's keep those little bits because you never know, those little bits come in handy sometimes. Doesn't want to behave. Now, I'll get a, oops, there goes my heat tool. Stand up there. Grab some dimensionals. I don't know why, but I always put, now let's see where I'm going to put it first before I put all sticky on it. I don't know if that I like this as much as my other one that I did. Yeah, I think I need to put that up the top there. Get off my finger. So I should have had my flower up a bit higher anyway. Be fine. Now, on all of these cards, I've used the iridescent gems, and even though they've got a pinkish look, once you put them on the green background or any other coloured background, they take up the colour of the cardstock. 
They look great. So that's that. I did also want to show you what I want to show you the other card. Oh, I haven't finished yet. Getting a bit excited there, aren't I? So for the inside, I thought it'd be nice. I know you're probably thinking that's wasteful using all that paper and putting the white over it, but how much DSP do we hoard? So I've decided no more hoarding. Just use it. You buy it to use, so just use it. I probably think I'll probably be doing this with a lot of my cards. Just have to cut your inside piece down a bit so that you can see the beautiful paper surrounding it. Now I'll just show you the rest of the cards I did with this technique and then I will finish off. Remember last week I had a die cut piece that I said I was going to do something with? Oh, actually I've got to show you something else. So I wanted the flowers to match so we do have there is a matching stamp set that maybe I'll grab that and explain what I'm doing um, and I do love this one here but actually wanted it to match with my die cut so I cut myself I cut that out of some retired cardstock and of course it fell out, but where I had these solid bits, I just sticky taped it. I did actually try and cut it out, where do I want that? With window sheet, but do you know what? Window sheet does not work for me like that. It never cuts it out. I don't know what I do wrong, I cut it both ways and backwards and forwards and it still didn't work so I gave up on it. Now green one. We'll do this with soft succulent. I need to block my but I don't want to. I don't want to dirty up my cardstock, <laughs> my um, grid paper. Isn't that silly of me? Just gonna be careful when you go towards the edge. Don't want to. Don't want to go over and outside. A bit like using a mask. And after I'd done these, I thought, oh, we probably could have used the masks that are in at the moment. Well, only till the 31st and then they'll be gone. The beautiful masks with the flowers and the butterflies. That would have worked really well for this card, I reckon. I think that's okay. Take that sticky off there. And the reason I wanted to do it in window sheet was because I wanted to be able to reuse it. I have used this for all of those cards and I haven't and nothing's happened, but what I wanted to preserve was I didn't want to contaminate the different colours. So this is one, and I used the hand-penned set for that. I just thought, and I should have probably moved that over a little bit or put this over, but anyway, it's a card and someone will delight in receiving it. Actually, speaking of that, I received a lovely phone call from my dear auntie who turns 87 next week. Um, geez, the mail from here to Bendigo. I posted it Wednesday. She received it yesterday. So how fast is that? One day. And she said what a joy it was to receive my cards. And I thought, we've just got to... We've all got to think on that and think, I thought, well, I should be sending her more cards, really. Because it just made her day to receive a beautiful, she said, it's sitting up on the shelf looking at me. I just love it. It was a, a big hibiscus, I think I did. It was one that I did for live. Oops, that's folded it back over. This was the first one that I did using this technique. And that's why that's not sticking properly, because the gold went you can see there it's gone all around there 
So that was using the blackberry with, oh, I didn't tell you that was soft succulent on that one. So that's blackberry and fresh freesia. Right, there you go. I showed you that one, didn't I? This one is Crypto Coral, and I've paired that with the petal pink. Oh, and yes, I used, I should explain that too. I used the same stamp as I used for tonight's card for this one. For this one, this is just using the glue freehand. I just, I mean, I was happy with it, but I just felt I wanted the the um, mines a little bit thinner than that. So that's why I tried different things. This one is the tree from just the top of the tree, not the whole tree, from, I I remember names, wouldn't it? From Beauty of Friendship, it was this tree. So I started off, I'll show you what I did. I held it in my hand. And I found this was the best way to do it. And I inked it, inked it with the Versamark and I just went like that. Inking it up again, of course, as I went. And I was quite happy with that. But once I was on a roll, I wanted to try lots of different things. So what's the next one? Oh yeah, I know what the next one is. So that's Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. I think I did say that, I can't recall. This one, a little bit different. I was looking, I was over at my die cutting machine and I noticed some of this, a new pack um, of, I'm not sure, was this in the mini or was it in, I'm not sure now. This was Supple Shimmer, so whichever catalogue that was in. I thought, oh, that might look good with my Bermuda Bay. So I've put that onto Bermuda Bay and I've used, did I pull that out? Cool. Where are you? Oh, it must be out. Oh, here it is. I think, yeah. I've just used the this leaf out of botanical, and I was quite happy with the effect of that too. You, as you can see, once you get once you get a technique in mind, you can just keep going and going. So, and that was just popped onto the shimmery paper. I think that's probably, that might be my favourite. It's really pretty. Not that I dislike the other ones. I do like them. So, now, this is the piece that I was telling you about. And I'm going to use that same paper again. This I found, because I was going through different things and thinking what am I going to do with this piece that I showed you last week that I, I have actually put that on there. Remember it was in a in a whole piece of that and I wasn't sure how to use it. So and I said to you, well I won't be wasting it. So this is the uh, um, Crane of Fortune paper out of the mini. I'm going to chop those bits off there. I thought I had it pretty straight, but it wasn't. So then I just had a bit of a play around. With that, so I thought that could go on here. I'll just use my glue. It's a pity to cover up the crane on the back isn't it but I don't really have a use for the crane because I didn't get that set could cut it out I guess I could fussy cut it out what have you done with yours Sharon you got that set didn't you so I already had that stamped I think I've stamped that in evening evergreen from a previous project that I didn't use. Don't you love that? You don't really have to. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to add these or not. I thought I'd get you guys to help me with that one. I can see that I haven't pushed out that very well. Just another little piece there too. So 
thought, will I or will I not put the, the evening evergreen with it? What do you think? I really personally think it doesn't need it. What's the other thing? Oh, did I? Yes, I did. The other thing that I did was I was looking, looking through my stamps to see whether I had a little butterfly, and I did out of the hedgehog set. That is butterflies in little tiny butterflies in lots of the sets. I'm not sure what I was going to put on the inside. What was I going to put? Mm, while you tell me what you think there. Hi Shelly, hi Barbara, hi Sharon, hi Min, hi Glenda, hi Diane, hi Marion, hi Anne, hello Rhonda, hello Denise, hello Joanne, hello Leanne, hello Hermali, hi Maria, hi Lynette, hi Margaret, hi Deborah, Hi Diane. Hi Lisa. I think I've got everyone. Now, can you tell me whether I want the... Because what I'm going to do while you're deciding is I'm going to cut out, fussy cut, a couple of these little butterflies and they can be... See, that's that paper that I just showed you that she's forgotten the name of already. I was going to use the, the big butterflies, but I thought they were too big. So... While well, you tell me whether we want the evening evergreen embellishments on there or not. Oh, just fussy cut. Gosh, that light's shining in my eyes. Can I do this? Everything's shiny. Everybody see that there's a there's a clearance sale as we'd expect for the current mini. So the last day to order, I'm pretty sure the last day to order is next Tuesday. Get your order in quick. There are some sales I haven't even looked to see what's reduced because I won't be needing anything else from there. You guys might though. Might be something you missed that you couldn't quite afford. So you're thinking now it's reduced, you'll grab it. I think some another demonstrator said that the um oh that now I just chopped off half his wing. Not half of it, just a piece of it. Hopefully no one will notice. I should concentrate and not yap, shouldn't I? <laughs> um <coughs> the oh, the one with the mountain, that beautiful paper, I'm sure you'll know what I mean, which one I mean. So I'm just going to put the butterflies, I'll just put that one there. I could have just stamped that, couldn't I? But then it wouldn't be green. No, it wouldn't be green, it would be black. It would be not black, it would be evening evergreen. Just, just up there. Very cute that little butterfly, isn't he? He's very cute. Now, what did we think? What was the consensus? Yeah, I don't think we need it either. Thanks, guys. I just I just was checking with you guys. And it's good to go through your scrap piles every now and again, isn't it? When you've got bits that you need to, to use up, which is what I just did. And I'll I think I'll be very happy with this card once it's finished. What did I do? <coughs> Excuse me. What did I do with my dimensionals? Here we go. I'm not going to put any trim with this. I think it's I think it's fine without and nothing goes to waste. I might put that 
so many possibilities for these frames. Now I just want a little dimensional because I want to raise this tiny little guy up a little bit. I think, as long as that's not too big. No, that's perfect. And he's just sitting there saying hello there. He's so cute. Now, we need some embellishments for that too, don't we? What will I use? I might cheat and use some of my retired in colours, but you can get similar to these ones. Um, the in colour, I think they're called opal rounds, I think, I'm not sure because I've still got a few of these left because I loved them. I grabbed some before they were gone. Mm, do I want that there? Not really. Inside. That one there. And put that one there. Don't know if it really needed embellishments either, but we always like to bling it up, don't we? Okay, so there's that one. Oh, put the inside in, and then it's done. Notice what I didn't use any of tonight, I wonder. I'm going to have a try of it on the butterflies over there that I've done. I was just wondering about some wink on those butterflies, but I don't want to mess up that ink on that butterfly if it's not going to work. So we'll try it on this, see if it's going to smudge or not. I don't think it is. No, I think that's going to be fine. Just adds, add a little bit more sparkle. I was just a bit worried the colours might have bled, but no, that's good. And we'll do some on here. Can't forget the inside and our envelope. Perfect. And that will go in my little stashy bin so that the next time I need something, I might be able to just grab it from there. I don't know if I like that there. I think it needs to sit maybe just just there. Oh, I'm not sure. That's probably back where I had it. <laughs> I do like the fiddle. Okay, thanks so much for everyone for joining me tonight. Do we have any questions? Okay, I really appreciate you watching me every Friday night and I appreciate your support. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next Friday night. Bye-bye.